I might, I've got an hand, I still want to make a phone out. Shoving quite slow, it's just a slow ride. Nice, beautiful day. <coughs> Try to just come up to Central Motion and have a look. Have a family ride in. Well, I'm kind of getting used to it now. Getting the hang of it. Got to be super observant. Um, just watch out for people coming out of these parked cars, checking the mirrors. It's a blind corner, so I've just got to go slow. I don't want to be tempting anyone to pull out in front of me. It's a nice little area around here. I don't particularly want to get off the bike and walk, though. So the bike here quite often wave. I don't know where this road goes, but we'll have a look. Oh, it's quite nice. Bit of a track and field thing there going on. Golf cart, the other to load. That's where we'll be heading. So I constantly check the mirrors and observe these cars, make sure that there's nobody parking them. I don't want to be going too fast around any corners. I recognise this road, it's been a long time since I've been here, but I've been here before. I wish I'd come and help, that's the road we're in Bloom. Maybe next year. So we're going 30 miles an hour, and I'm kind of hoping that the noise in the hammock isn't too loud. I don't want to go too fast around these, there's lots of leaves on the road and flower heads and blossom coming down from the trees. I don't want to go too slow, I've got a car behind me, maybe a bit of a noise. So it's 30 miles an hour, <coughs> and I'm kind of hoping that this microphone still works. I really need to know it to learn not to shout into it. Because that would be probably quite sound distant, I think. And I've tried to correct it on it, right, on the contest I did earlier. And it just sounded really distorted, so I need to learn to not to shout. Even when the wind is outside, I mustn't try and shout over it because the microphone's right next to me. So that was a nice little ride up the temple in the ocean for me. Not blossom on the trees. Checking the mirrors. Got to pull out here, it's over a brow. Now I'll pull any up there, just pull it down a little bit over the shoulder, over that, there, there, back in. This is the way back into the city down here. And it might be just nice for people who are learning to ride, I'm in the wrong lane there, as you can see. Car there. How much concentration that takes. I was slightly distracted by talking. So when I come up to stuff I won't talk. But you've got to be on the ball all the time. There's no zoning out in this. None at all. If you're zoning out, you're in an accident. As you can see, I was concentrating then. Got your speed limits to look at, road obstacles, other road users. You know, what you're doing, checking your mirrors, making sure you're in the right lanes at appropriate times. To be quite honest with you, it doesn't matter for me because I'll just go in whatever lane I'm in and I'll, I'll correct the mistake later on. Okay, so we turned that nicely, didn't have to put our feet down. Got someone crossing the road, they might trip over. Got these cars here, red light coming up. Probably have to put my foot down at this one, so I position myself nicely so I can see the light. Yeah, you can make your own mind up on that one. So am I enjoying it? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Went out for a sunset ride on it the other night, it's beautiful. I think it was. Friday night, really clear day, really clear skies, 
warm for this time of year, like 18 or something. Road merges into one. We need the left, so I'll just give a little indication to tell them where I'm going. I'm completely in the wrong lane here, but like I said, if I do go wrong, I'll correct it later. I'm not pulling out in front of traffic and accelerating. Even though you can on a bike, you shouldn't. So we'll just wait for these lights. Checking the mirrors all the time, they're not creeping up on me. Got to do my shoulder checks before I set off. Can to guide the at me with his engine. Who knows where this goes? See if it goes through a loop. It's a 20 mile an hour zone, so. It'll go somewhere. All those houses down there. Got thirties and forties houses that looks a bit as well. So people could be pulling out of driveways up here and everything. So if you are thinking of learning to ride, just go and do it. Don't be scared of it. Because you'd be scared anyway, don't wind yourself up about it. it. It is what it is. You know, if you can ride a push bike, then you can balance one of these. These things, once they're running, like a push bike, wants to stay upright. You don't have to be the sort of rider that goes round the corners with knees to the ground. I think we can correct up here, it looks like there might be a right turn. If there is, we'll take it. Positioning road, start indicating, there is a sign, start braking, selecting the gears. Oh yeah, I think that's the motorbike shop on the corner. Yeah, it's closed. It's always bloody closed. Don't know if I'm making any money. So it can be scary going around these tight corners, this is why I go out and practice. You deliberately go to areas where there's difficult roads. Get some experience on them. There's a little area up here called East, East Park, I think it is. There's a lot of little tight roads down there, back to back hours in. We'll go down there, I think. I think it's down here, I don't know, I'm, being, I'm going wrong, I've got it wrong all the time. So I'm worse than that, using the MK for directions. So then, uh, uh, I, don't it's where, I know where that is, but I don't know where this is. You can't go that far, I'm not as roundabout on the main road, so... It can't be too bad, can it? Riding in those gears a lot better. I think there might be a right turn at the end of here and there's a park there. Uh, if we're seeing a graffiti, we'll stop and film it as well. One of my primary reasons of coming out into these areas is to film graffiti. Yeah, there's the park look. It's not a particularly nice area, believe there's uh, in this, but they don't look that bad to me. Places have reputations that are probably not deserved to keep hold of. But that's uh, that's us as people, isn't it? Good things don't stay in the memory long, but the bad things do. Unless it's severe pain, because you can't remember that very well. Traffic light up here, there's a lot of kiddies running around in a park, so we just need to be careful. Car coming up behind me. 
So this is out me out riding after one month of owning the bike. First motorbike I've ever owned. But if I can do it, I think pretty much anyone else can. The railway bridge coming up here, I don't know if it's abandoned or or used to be quite honest with you. Looks used. Like I said there was a train track under there. So tight corners coming up, checking the mirrors, see what's behind me, now up that road, using my back brakes to help me get round and gears. Yes, it's nice and slow, but it's nice and safe. Indicate, check the mirrors, making sure I go around the roundabout in the right way. Cancel that indicator when you get control of the bike and you feel confident again you know what you're doing. It's so easy to forget them indicators when you first start. Even a month later, and it's not quite so prevalent, but I'm still forgetting. That's a beautiful tree. What's in here? Is it a park? Is it a walkway? No, you can't get in, can you? Well, you probably could there. Yeah, you can explore all places, can't you, on a bike? I suppose if I didn't care less. I had a more of a road bike I'd have gone through there. That's the new building since I've been here. Just need to make sure that people like that aren't suddenly start sort of having a laugh and a laugh and a games and pushing each other around or pretending to run off. Big old church there. But it doesn't seem too bad. There's that car waiting to pull out. I did see him when I was looking at the church and I could see he was stopped. Oh dear, I see what happens when I don't pay attention. Right, I'm going to shut up now. Because I don't want to go that way. I could probably go this way here. Oh, it's only to beat you around. Look. This is a great place of interest either. Old Aldi there. A lot of old cars in this country, you know, not classic ones, but old old cars seem to look up to get knackered in whether we have what salt and grit on the roads. Car washes. I often wonder if they wash a bike. I wonder if it would be safe to take a bike there. I'm quite happy to pay them six feet to wash the bike, saves me half an hour. I can sit back and watch it being washed and enjoy the results. So I mean, you know, I've never been down these streets before, so I don't know where I am. Let's have a look down here. Can you find places you've never been? I've been leads is massive, really. It's a big old city. I know when my friends come over from there, uh, sticks. They're always amazed at how big things are. And then when you start driving around the place. See that? Look at that building there. Eh? That corner is one of them corners where it's uh, look where you're going. Look through the corner. Look, turn your head. Look right round it. You probably picked up there that I wasn't doing that, and I sort of didn't take it at the perfect road position. I don't know where we are now. Yes, as you say, you don't get that lost ever. 
Now can you, it's England. For the road sign every 200 feet, we have priority of the oncoming vehicles. Look at this, eh? We'll get this on the main road to practice your little turning skills and looking around. But you've even got three potholes. Yeah, so I hope you're sort of going to get on a bike and just do it. There's no to be scared of. Because you're in control of what you're doing, and if you make a mistake, yeah, it's your fault. But actually, it's them idiots out there you've got to watch out for. Give them plenty of space. Never fight them for anywhere. You know, cars like to overtake and pull into places where they don't fit. I was indicating there, his cans will let me in. So what I need to do is pull over and just stop this me babbling on. Just keep your distance, like I said. Keep an eye on what's going on behind you, because again, motorbikes will, some bikers will try and get down these gaps. You hear people say, oh, you you the exhaust. No, you don't, because they're moving forward and towns behind them. Alright. Road works, I'm familiar with these roads, doesn't it now? So I know where I am. That's Lee's over in front of us. Dalek will be over to the left somewhere, you, you won't see it probably. But I don't want to look too much because I am close to that vehicle. There's Marks and Spencer's building. No, John Lewis. This is a boring road I want to get off here. But important skills to be learned, because there is fast flowing traffic on here when road work stops. It's a 40 mile an hour speed limit, it's dual carriageway, rush hour. It's great road to practice in your filtering skills. Because you get people like that trying to pull out in front of you. Accelerating onto a 40 mile an hour road, he had to brake hard for that taxi, and now he'll fly. I'm going 40. I want to get in there, because I want to get off this road, it's boring. Bad choice really, because I know there's a slip road there, but at least it's clear. A bit of graffiti up there. Now we're turning there after the flyover, what we want to call it. Buildings on top of this. Quite nice, somebody was going through on a motorbike here earlier, as loud as anything. Really loud it was. Okay, so I was creeping up a little bit on this speed. I break it down because my exit is coming up. Mirrors, indicate, start braking for it. Use engine braking. Don't want to use engine braking all the time because my back brake lights won't come on and it won't give people any indication as to what I'm doing. Yes, I could go in the outside lane and filter here, but I don't want to. I'm not getting anywhere fast today, I'm not bothered. As you can, I was, don't know if you saw them or heard, but messing around with gears, trying to get it into first. Mainly because I didn't change down enough gears. 
Okay, so I'm on a car now, I'll be using the back brake to steady the vehicle. Keep the distance from them. Taxi right there. Look at that. Thank you. 